What famous person had the most undeserved fall from grace? Eartha Kitt. She spoke against the Vietnam War when asked about it by Lady Bird Johnson at a presidential luncheon. She was labeled a sadistic nymphomaniac by the CIA and blacklisted in Hollywood. Richard Jewell. Not exactly a celebrity but became famous when he was a security guard during a concert for the Atlanta Summer Olympics. Found a backpack full of explosives and alerted the police. They were able to clear almost everyone from the area before it went off. He saved many lives and then the FBI decided he was the main suspect and ruined his life until eventually clearing him of any wrongdoing. Amanda Bynes? Really just needed help early I think. Macaulay Culkin and most other child stars who end up not being able to handle the pressures of stardom. I'm glad he's doing well now. Pee Wee Herman. Winona Ryder. She had a comeback with Stranger Things but her career has never fully recovered to what it was in the 90s after her shoplifting scandal. The scandal is small potatoes compared to what a lot of other celebrities have done and gotten away with. Alan Turing, Oscar Wilde and all the other great minds that were arrested and vilified for being gay. George Michael really bore the brunt of 90s homophobia and didn't deserve it at all. I was a teenager at the time it came out he was gay and there was so much cruel mockery of him. I mean the guy had his demons, but it also came out after he died how unusually generous and charitable he was. I didn't really get into his music until recently, but his story feels ripe for a biographical movie. I hear Janet Jackson had a very undeserved fall from grace if you can even call it that, I didn't really think his was a big deal as far as I'm aware of the reason for it. Hay wasn't famous at the time, but Richard Jewell was wrongly accused of the 1996 Olympic bombing in Atlanta. He was later exonerated when Eric Rudolph plead guilty to the bombing. I'm from Atlanta and I remember Richard Jewell face all over the news. Totally convicted guilty in the public eyes fixed some fat thumb spelling. Howard Dean getting a little too excited on the mic. Billy Squire. He was massively popular in the 80s until he released a music video where he acted and danced very feminine and flamboyantly. The video for Rock Me Tonight destroyed his career. Billy Holiday. Her fall from grace was engineered and executed by the FBI because they felt that her song Strange Fruit could stir an uprising among black people. When she refused to stop singing it, they conspired to destroy her, eventually leading to her death. Sinead O'Connor, pointed out the Catholic Church is full of pedophiles and had her career destroyed. Alan Turing Brendan Fraser Gary Webb Du wrote a story about CIA involvement in Contra cocaine smuggling. Got his life destroyed in every possible way, culminating in his suicide. Later investigation confirmed the bulk of the story and found that he had, if anything, understated the case. Brendan Fraser. He got blacklisted for exposing that he was sexually assaulted by some Hollywood bigwig. Brittany. My God. My wife just finished the book and told me all the details. That woman had everything and her only fault was being born into a horrible and greedy family. Phil Donahue. He was fired from MSNBC for being against the Iraq war. He was Oprah before there was Oprah and his show was a lot more intelligent than hers ever was. Not sure how much the firing or his views affected the public's view of him but it was undeserved. T-Pain people turned on him, before the auto-tune sound was revived and made almost a genre of itself. Janet Jackson. One boob and you'd think she killed someone. Richard Gere and the fake gerbil story. Monica Lewinsky. It sucks for Macklemore that winning a Grammy hindered his career rather than helped it. Not like he voted for himself. Nikola Tesla. The Dixie Chicks. One of the best acts in country music but had the audacity to share the opinion that Czechs notes the war in Iraq was wrong. Which of course being in the country scene meant a death sentence for their careers. Edit it's been pointed out to me that they were able to bounce back eventually. Which is very cool. Hedy Lamar who never was allowed to get credit for her frequency hopping invention in World War LL. 
She was female, beautiful and cast as a sex symbol. No one wanted to give her credit for being brilliant to boot. Eartha Kitt. Reminiscent of the Dixie Chicks. She spoke out against the Vietnam War and was summarily blacklisted for decades until she came back much later in her career with such roles as Yzma, from the Emperor's New Groove. Sean Young, Thora Birch, and every other young actress who went from the next mega star to blacklisted because they became difficult to work with meaning wouldn't fuck a producer. Marie Antoinette Brendan Fraser, man did nothing wrong and he fell out of the public eye, then people started criticizing him for his weight, glad he's starting to get the recognition he deserves. IDK if it's a fall from grace but Courtney Love got all kinds of hate for shouting from the red carpet to stay away from Harvey Weinstein years before his moment arrived. Anne Boleyn Jesus Christ! Dude was crucified. Al Franken. He stepped down when shit started getting intense. Meanwhile George Santos is still a sitting member of Congress. ETA so is Matt Gates. Howard Dean. Dude's political career ended for yelling while trying to rally his crowd of supporters after a defeat. I wish I was making this up. Vanessa Williams. Bud Dwyer. Al Gore. He got thoroughly lambasted for his early support of climate change, including getting lampooned on South Park with Man Bear Pig. Obviously his reputation has recovered since then but at the time he definitely had an undeserved fall in reputation.